Alright guys, AK here, and I'm just bringing you a quick review on uh, on Narco Terror. It's kind of like a let's play type thing, so uh, without further ado, here we go. Now the game itself, very simple, back to basics, which is the one thing I, you know, you'll see in this film, uh, film in this video, and I love uh, about the game. Now <laughs> it can be quite OTT, here, as you can see here. The guy's punching a helicopter into flames, um, but he's our hero, so hell, he can do it. Um, now, now the game itself is a twin stick shooter, uh, and it's pretty much is 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 as simple as that. You've got your right stick to shoot, left stick to move. You, I think you, you hold L one and, and dash to the side to to perform uh, barrel roll type things like that, and you um, and it's a R one to throw grenades. What more can you need? Now the the game itself, you rack up points by blowing stuff up and destroying crates. Uh, and I think tyres as well, I'm not too sure. Now enemies themselves, they're quite simple to do, especially if they run at you like that. But they're the melee guys, as you'll see here. I actually do go melee with them, um, which is quite a <laughs> windmill <laughs> windmill reminding when you're in school and you used to throw your windmills. Um, anyway, so yeah, the, 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 the gameplay, the graphics is you know, very simple and, and I think very well done for for an arcade type game is like this and I think I could see this being very well implemented on a handheld type console actually uh, as, a, as a side note there now um, what you do as you see is here I've picked up my nades and you throw them and my god do they blow up um, <laughs> causing that uh, forklift to blow up as well so the the, the, the game itself is, is, is well made I mean I haven't had any bugs with it I mean it the sound can be slightly grainy at times but i mean for the for the sheer amount of, of fun i got out of this it's not not that um not that that big a deal um now here you can see me doing a matrix look at that way uh, oh, there we go got hit so doing a matrix and dodging bullets uh similar to maybe uh space invaders or the matrix um and i haven't had a game like that in years uh, it's something you know it's really refreshing to see something old school um uh, and done in uh, what i feel is quite an old school manner with uh, just a hd gloss over it now <laughs> i like jumping in this game yes you'll notice that a lot um but yeah so so you um it, it does. It really reminds me well of you know one of those uh, one of those old games I used to play when I was a child, like Double Double Dragon or you know even Space Invaders, where it was just literally point and shoot. Now, uh, no idea why I stood there and span around in circles. I'll be very honest with you guys. I did originally uh, review it uh, as I was playing, and I just couldn't do it because I was so engrossed in what I was doing on the game. And you'll see I die a couple of times in this gameplay because of it. Um, but I'm only human, so uh, don't hate me. Uh, I love you all. <laughs> now, what I was talking about in my review were the pickup guns as well. These are these are great little bonuses, I think, as you'll see in a second. Um, after <laughs> after some more shooting, um, I, there you go. I try punching a uh, car to death, and it, it it blows up on me, which made me jump. Right, anyway, back to the back to the uh, the guns. So you pick these guns up. They've got very limited ammo. Um, I've heard rumours of a laser cannon, but I haven't got that far in the game yet. I have been, as I said, sidetracked with real life. Um, but everything blows up with these, and, and I think they're good for crowd control, as you'll see. I think I get a big multi-kill in a second. There it is, boom. I get quite a few of them with one RPG. And as simple as that, the ammo's gone. So you use them, use them wisely, but I mean, to be fair with the... the the level of skill I think it takes in this game and the amount of health you've got, I mean, it's, it's just worth just running around and seeing how much you can get away with, to be fair. Um, it's, it's, it's got a fair few trophies on it for you trophy hunters or achievement hunters out there. Um, and it definitely adds to that collection as something that you can play when you're not really in the mood to be to be thinking about a game. And there I managed to kill myself. Um so while we've got the little break, you know, the, yeah, there's good trophies and, and a good bit of fun. And I think I come back and I pick up our, our RPG again. That's why I died. I wanted to play with the RPG some more. Um, but yeah, graphic wise, as you can see, it's, it's not that bad. I was, if I'm a, a little honest, expecting something a little bit more hideous uh, or a little bit hideous and, and, and not very well made or put together. But I was really surprised about the graphic quality and the, the, the gameplay itself. Everything, as you can see, moves quite smooth, even though I'm getting pelted with what look like carrots. Um, yes, I'm getting shot by bad guys shooting carrots. Um, 
but yes, as I was saying, the, the, the way it looks and the way it plays is very smooth. Um, definitely something that I could see coming, as I said, to to a handheld console, PS Vita, uh, maybe maybe the Nintendo DS if they'd ever do it. Um, but I think it looked quite good on that nice little low LED screen. And I've died again because uh, I'm not very good at these types of games, although I do find them quite fun. Now, uh, so the aim of the game in story line, the storyline is not that great. N- not that, no. It's no Last of Us. Let's just put it that way. It's not the Last of Us, but it's not aimed to be. I think this game is aimed to to show those people or, or, uh, who watch Lethal Weapon or who watch uh, one of them badass cop f- uh, films when they were, you know, when they were growing up. Uh, certainly, like I did, definitely Lethal Weapon was one of my definitely one of my Christmas favourites. Um, where you're that cop that uh, everyone loves, uh, and the enemies love to send their goons after you, uh, and in this case, wave after wave. Um, exploration on the maps uh, 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 is quite good, and it, I think it adds to the depth of the as much depth to the game as you could get for £7.99 um, you know you're you're running around and, and there's little bits to explore although I haven't found anything too too great yet maybe you know maybe there is something to discover um, I presume later on in the game as, as honestly as I can say you, you probably find some more weapons but the overall I think the gameplay is uh, punchy it's definitely fast um, and, and a good bit of fun as you see these rather large machete wielding guys are, are running at me um game's punchy it's fast and it's a you know a good bit of fun for those guys who you know who want some trophies but can't be bothered uh, to necessarily you know walk across the skyrim map to get it um i hope you enjoyed the review it is short and sweet and i will try and bring you maybe the rest of the game on a youtube uh, on a YouTube um, Let's Play series, uh, we'll see. I'm still deciding where, the, where, to, where, the, where to bring this game. Um, but if yeah, if you like this review, if you you know if you want to interact and let us know your thoughts after buying it, uh, do feel free to send us a tweet at, at backwardscom or uh, at, um, at aksnc. And with that, uh, without spoiling any more of the game, I will uh, yeah leave you to it. Cheers.